camera's on now? You're, you're filming? Oh, well, hello, Internet. I am Mr. V, and welcome to what hopefully is the first of many short flipped classroom video segments on all things science called, well, I like the science. Cut to title card animation display. What is, what is that? Oh, I don't say that. Oh, that's the title. You put the title. Oh, put the title in. The flipped classroom method of instruction is a proven, highly effective approach to teaching that essentially reverses the roles of homework and classwork. Think about a lecture in class where you had to take notes. The teacher delivers new information to one large group of students. You write your notes, maybe have a discussion. You apply some of the content learned on an activity maybe, but the bulk of the class time is used giving you that introductory basic content. You go home and are told to do some practice problems based on your notes and textbook for homework. But they are a bit challenging. What the teacher was saying in class made sense at the time, but now things seem fuzzy. Concepts are jumbled in your head and now you just are a bit confused. You do the homework questions alone without any guidance or help. Get even more confused because the questions are getting harder and you become even more frustrated and you just write down anything. Then you tell your teacher the next day that you didn't understand your homework and now you're lost. Sound familiar? There are two main issues with this whole method. First, during that lecture, each student in the classroom was subject to the teacher's pacing. The teacher going too fast, you can't hear another student's question, you can't keep up with the notes, embarrassed to ask a question or to get help in front of the entire class or a group, any one of these things can hinder your learning in the classroom. And there's no pause button to press to allow you to take a breath, find out what you know, what you don't know, and regroup. Second, the bulk of class time was used up teaching the introductory material. Therefore, you may have not have been prepared enough to apply the concepts learned in class on more complex problems at home, and you don't have a partner to bounce off ideas off of as you would in a lab group. And it's not your fault. You need proper guidance and help when you tackle these complex problems. So it's for these reasons that I have chosen to implement the flipped model of instruction into my classroom. In the flipped classroom, you will now spend time at home watching short video clips on the new introductory material from our lessons which you can view and take notes on at your own pace and revisit as needed. This will free up class time that now can be devoted to answering questions about the content, but more importantly, apply the knowledge that you learn through fun and challenging group activities. Now, I'm sure you already know and are familiar with group work. There are many creative and effective strategies and activities that teachers already do to engage their students and allow them to explore new content. That's what good teaching is, providing different avenues for learning in the classroom. This flipped classroom approach expands on this, providing the bridge between exploration and the explanation of new material. See, what I have noticed over the years teaching is that whenever students have a question in class during lab or discussion, uh, or when they need extra help after school, the large majority of questions stem from not fully understanding that basic content of the topic. Basically, they're notes, and like the wooden beams of a house, foundational material is necessary to build upon and progress towards a higher level of understanding. You need to explain it before you can elaborate or evaluate it. So now you control the pacing of how the introductory content is given to you. Now you probably won't grasp all the content on the first viewing of these videos, which is totally okay. A five minute video would normally take me about 30 minutes to complete in class. So the ability to rewatch the videos again and again is the key. Pause, rewind, fast forward, you're in charge. You'll be assigned to take some quick notes and even answer some quiz questions based on the videos. Can you get them all correct on the one of viewing? Maybe, maybe not. Are the quizzes graded? Yes, but you'll be allowed to retake them until you get a perfect score. Why is that? Well, this will allow you to become more familiar and comfortable with the material, which you will need to know in order to participate in the activities and the labs you will be doing in groups with your classmates in class. Again, the great thing about this is that you are doing this at your own pay pace when you are relaxed, on your own time, and as much as you need. This will be really good and really handy when you have to even study or prepare for a quiz or a test in class. Now the bulk of the class time can be devoted to explore, reinforce, and expand on the concepts. What this means for you is that the classroom centers around you, not me. This means that you are active in your own learning instead of just passively sitting there looking at the whiteboard taking notes. This student-centered environment allows me to place you in groups to tackle more complex problems together with your classmates. And all the research out there says that when you are placed into these kinds of collaborative groups, you become better problem solvers, and this leads to a deeper understanding of the material. This new approach also allows for me to circulate around the room, helping your groups answering questions and providing in-depth feedback, 
and suggestions how to best complete a task or a lab that you're assigned to complete. Now, you may be wondering, does this actually work? Yes. Based on many studies done around the world, this flipped model of instruction is not only effective at increasing student achievement, it is better than the standard lecture model with students showing higher averages on final exams and tests in subjects like math and science compared to their more traditional counterparts. So in closing, teachers have a responsibility to educate their students so that their experience becomes more student-centered, self-paced, and collaborative. And I am confident that this approach will lead to a deeper understanding of science and you will have a lot of fun along the way. So let's get ready to do some science.